Hey, hey guys. guys! Behind us, it's the B&B Hotel. We finally stayed there. A lot of you guys asked us what it's like and uh, well, this video shows you what it's all about. Yeah, we're going to show you the breakfast, the room, what we, how we slept, what we think about it. So um, if you are planning to stay here in a B&B Hotel, this is the video for you. Here is our room. And we asked for a quiet room, so they put us all the way in the back. Yeah, that's the end of the hallway. They don't have a key card, they have a, a code, a key code. So we're uh, gonna punch this in. One, two, three. Secret code. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is, uh, this is it. Cameras first. Is bed number one, bed number two and the big bed. A writing desk and there's a blow dryer. This is probably why they put it there because there's a mirror. So this is a shower, it looks nice. Don't you think Sven? Yeah, it's not a real big tub. No, it's, it's a tub to stand in, not to yeah. lay in and unwind. Uh, and then another colorful wall with a toilet. What I like about the sink is that it is in one piece, so there are no corners where any dirt can stay in. The mirror is um, pretty rough. I think also pretty accurate because I'm very hot, so I'm red. So yeah, this is actually the way that I look right now. Wall sockets. They're more than the average hotel room that, I've, that we've stayed in. Two above the writing desk, each of the single beds. And there is one underneath the night lamp over here. Oh yeah, and not underneath the other one? No, no. Ah, they saved on that. Hmm, <laughs> missed opportunity. Oh. oh, rough. Jump, jump, you swim, you make them jump, oh, jump. Yeah. Something snapped. <laughs> In your neck? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so were there any hairs on this? Uh... No, yeah, maybe some cat hairs from Mike or Tyson now because... Uh... <laughs> because she jumps on it. So. It looks good. Looks so we good. have a few towels here. Yeah. Uh, we can also use the towels on the other beds. So that's a benefit for us. <laughs> so now we have to go and have a sleep and see what we think about the room. We will stay here for two nights. So we can tell you guys what we think. So stay tuned. Day two. Starting with the beds, they were good. At least for us. Yes. Not too hard, not too soft. Had uh, two good nights of sleep. And there was no dent, so you couldn't feel that anybody else slept in there before you. Also, the size of the room was good. Yeah, especially for the two of us. We stayed in a, in a room that is normally available for four people no no pullouts yeah for the two of us it was more than uh, more, more than, than enough. enough room yeah and then you could also open your window i really like that too really important because and that's the downside of this room the air conditioning wasn't working so i went to the reception desk and we did it perfectly fine but still we couldn't turn it on it wasn't yeah. working the bathroom well, uh, there were a lot of shifts in water pressure and water temperature. If you were the one to start showering and somebody else is showering after you in some other room, it's okay because you are the boss of the shower. But when somebody else is already showering, you will have not really cold, but it was like, um, well, too cold anyway. Yeah. It wasn't warm enough. And then when that person stopped using the shower, suddenly it was really hot again. So hello, you guys. Good morning. This is our, uh, after our first night here in the B&B hotel and uh, we are going for breakfast, right? This is the entire breakfast room. So there's coffee and um, also chocolate milk and juice. So there's croissant, cheese and some fruit and also meats, eggs. There are preserves in all kinds of flavors. There are a lot of yogurts and again preserves and there's also a machine you can create your own to toasted bread. And here you can see some milk with cereals. It's a large breakfast room but 
it's obvious that it's a repetition of everything over and over. It doesn't matter on which side you're standing, it's the same on every side. Sven is already um, halfway his plate. Uh, I'm almost starting. <laughs> and uh, how are the croissants? Perfect. Yeah. Are they like the ones in the Studio One? These studio? are better. Studio. Really? Wow. So, what would you grade your croissants today? We haven't been to a uh, French bakery yet. It's real proper French croissants. Uh, but um, I would give this an eight. Whoa. For this breakfast, I can tell you that eggs were horrible. I think they were uh, made of plastic. And there were the yogurts were all delicious. And also cereal, milk, what can go wrong anyway. I also had two slices of bread, white bread, from the toast machine. And with some cheddar on it. That was also good. So, I'm full and ready for the bar. And now we are walking towards our car. Here's the bus. So this is... The bus that takes you to the park. So if we uh, are quick, we can be there first. Yeah. That's oh, they he still have to pick up these these people. Yeah. It's the same bus for Vienna uh, House, Dream Castle, and Explorers Hotel. So you have to share the bus with others. But uh, doesn't count for us because we go by car. So let's go. Bus is driving behind us now. <laughs> we have to get there first. It's going to be a competition. <laughs> it's staying behind us for the other hotel. Yeah, it probably still has to go to one yeah. of the other... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's going hotel. to another one. It's not a race. It is, man. <laughs> After a long day in the park, all you want to do is go to your hotel room and unwind. But maybe you've got some energy left, or maybe your kids have some energy left, and <laughs> you're still you're looking for something to do. Well, they have got an arcade here as well. So let's have a look what it's like and what kind of games they have. Plate so you don't lose the ball. Very good. Air hockey, two tables. <laughs> Rappling hook. But there are no Disney Plus toys you can win, so that's a little bit. Mm. And it looks like an old timey English telephone. And a mini uh, carousel. And a mini foosball. And a mini foosball. Are these the only drinks that you can get over here? No, you can also buy some drinks in the bar. So let's uh, check it out. So you can buy your pizza separate, but you can also buy it in a menu. Now, there's more. On the other side of the wall, you will find all the drink prices from the drinks. Uh, you can buy, for example, also finger food like um, garlic bread, mozzarella sticks, there is wine. So if you want to unwind, <laughs> got it? Yeah, you can pick up your, your pizza when you're, when you're ready. Yeah. So, so there's the bar. <laughs> buy yourself a pair of ears you can also do it here they've got the unlock the fun ears as well see their official Disneyland Paris ears so and there's more oh well it's a cute shop they have many ears you can buy so you can wear them before you go to the park you can wear them the entire day there are also some less positive points that we experienced and we really would like to share with you guys to give an honest review the whole building is built out of concrete and that you can really hear the uh, people walking through their rooms uh, above you and next to you voices are muted very good we didn't hear any uh, Absolutely. Voices. We didn't. So if you really would like a quiet room and uh, make sure that it's at the end of the hallway so you don't have people walking through the hallway and uh, top floor. The other thing that's missing in this hotel is a pool or other amenities for children. They yes. do have an arcade room but 
it's really, that's, that's the only thing. It's not really, there were a few games, but most of it were vending machines and stuff like that. Well, here next to this hotel is the Explorers Hotel. We also made a video about that, so check it out here in the screen. And that was a hotel that had so many things for, for kids, uh, like a monkey town. I don't know if you know that, that, uh, that yeah. concept, so like a monkey town thing and a big pool and, and climbing stuff, even some uh, outdoor playground. Well, guys, this was our review of the B&B Hotel here in Disneyland Paris, Marnay La Vallée. We hope you liked this video. If you would like to see more about the hotels in the Disneyland area and even the Disneyland hotels themselves, check out our playlist with all the other reviews that we already made. And with that being said, maybe next time we'll, we'll see you in Main Street. Bye! Bye. still here sorry guys it's over go home go